Honestly, honesty is to be seen and not told. Because beauty is in the eye of the one it beholds. And what we have come to this state? Depression, aggression, and flattery. But I kept focused and calm in every situation. Because I knew that soon to come along would be the emancipation. Proclamation. 13, 14, 15. Give another round of spring to get God's attention. I scream because you don't want me to mention. I scream while I pray to God because of how you make me feel inside and forget I try. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, bless her. Thank you. There we go. When I was a child, there was a time when happy meant gay. When my passions were my Barbies and candy. Well, you better give me back my Christmas. I'm gonna hurt you. Now, ladies. No! Off with their head. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm gonna take off your head! Silly rabbit. Chips with the kids. You gotta catch them first. My biggest worry were, when could I go out to play? For sunshine, I would pray. My mom was one of two girls. With a hair swirl and a skirt twirl, then their beauty rocked the world. Uncle Bob, Uncle Joe, Uncle Mike, and Uncle Lee. They visit my home quite frequently, and they were nice to me. But uh, buy you something nice, and don't spend it all in one place. But tell me how, how can my uncle become my daddy? <laughs> then along came Aunt Sally. She was tall, black, and loud. Damn it! I am here! Cut throat, anyone? She had hips out to there. She cussed and played cards and had very strange hair. She looked like a lady. She walked like a lady. She dressed like a lady. She talked like a lady. Let your Every piece in family. So friendly and so close. They would all share the same bedroom right across the hall from me. <laughs> Visiting relatives, one, two. And three. But one child alone in a big bedroom was quite lonely. How come no one would ever sleep with me? Uncle Bob, Uncle Joe, Uncle Mike, and Uncle Lee. As time went on, I was seldom seen. But there was still crazy old Aunt Sally. They say she rolled the reefer so tight, you could sleep it all day. <laughs> if she said hi, uh, you wonder if she was telling the truth. Uh, my niece. My niece from Idaho. Your niece. That's right, baby. My niece from Idaho. You would have been home for, babe. Yeah. It's over. I'm out. Get your damn hands off. And don't worry about coming to get your things. Because they're right outside the door. You can believe anything she said. Damn. Who did she go do that for? Sally is such a nut. Such a nut. And this better be some good stuff. Hey, hey Sally. What, Jen? I know you ain't still mad. Aunt Sally, my mom, and my mom's sister will fuss, cuss, and fight for days I and for I told y'all, leave my damn stuff alone. If you don't buy it, you don't put your damn hands on it. This is my stuff. I bought and paid for it. And I work too hard for y'all trying to ask to waste it. Oh, y'all are women? Hell, act like it. Oh, you want me to escort this chick out of here? I got this. See? Right here! My tops! My pads! My apple puff! My earrings! The skin tie gave me! My pants! You know what? Keep it. Keep it. I'm gonna put a damn lock on my door to keep you two parents.
parasites out. Yeah, whatever. Now get out. Yeah, get out. You need to spend more time with your child and less with my thing. Sorry, there you are that commotion, baby. It's not your fault. I was never sure who was wrong or what was right. One day, not really sure why, I took a long, hard look at Aunt Sally. <laughs> she was different. Sure. What does it look like I'm doing? Come here with your stupid barbies. Oh, wait, Dad. Cool. What in the world are you doing? Your mama likes you. Oh, no, you didn't. I'm gonna... You, you gonna what? My mom says that your Aunt Sally is a dyke. A bull daggy, a she he. A what? A bull daggy. A dyke. You know what loves me. And dig this. My mom says that your mom is Sally's girlfriend. What? Girl. You need to wake and grow up. You need to leave those stupid dolls alone. She dressed more like a man. Well, she always talked like one. There are men and there are women. But Aunt Sally, I didn't understand. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it's the truth. Hey man, what's up? <laughs> Something's up. You got that look. Spill it. Uh, What's the thing? Oh, really? No, you're yeah, okay. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Let me stop the bleeding. We're going to talk about it later. Just go on. Just go on. Damn it. It's time, babe. I know. You knew this day was going to come. She's growing up. I know. I know. This is a hard thing. I mean, where do I begin? Start at the beginning with the truth. Why do you say it like that? I never okay. lied to her. She never asked and I didn't tell. See, look, don't be so defensive. Okay. What I'm saying is she didn't know to ask. She's growing up now. Her and her peers are starting to become aware of things. These kids are at the age where they're starting to ask how do babies get made? And now she has to deal with the fact that her mother likes girls. I mean, damn, that's a lot even for me to digest. She likes women, not girls. She with me, a woman. Don't you forget that. How I wish I could. Look, I don't need this right now. What I need is an answer and not you magnifying the problem. Help me find a solution. Here we go. You, you, you. Well, this is all you big sis. Your lifestyle, your choice. Now you made your bed and you decided to sleep with old girl over there. <laughs> now comes the time for reckoning. Please, this is harder. First, you have to answer to your daughter. Then ultimately, God. Now ask yourself, can you live with that or die because of it? Look, this is hard enough as it is. And, and now you want to bring up my salvation? Well, let me remind you of something, baby sis. The Bible also says the same measure of judgment that you use will make you. You need to not judge people. Not paraphrase, of course. <laughs> At the ripe old age of 10 years old, my mom felt as though the truth should be told. So you're gay. You're happy. Baby. Happy gay means happy. So you're not a daddy or a dyke. Baby. You can't ma you don't like other girls. Can you marry another girl? Baby, can you? slow down. It's more complicated than that. And, and it's hard to explain. But, Sometimes life don't go the way you plan, and, and sometimes people do things that other people don't agree with or understand. And so they make fun of them. And that's just kind of... I could not handle the truth. Not at that time. It turned my little world upside down and inside out. <laughs> Damn it, fine. Especially that one with the blue scarf on. Hey, baby. What's up? Yeah, she is fine. And her mom is too. A super freak. Oh, really? Yeah, man, you didn't hear it. Come off the dice. So maybe like mother, like daughter. Then we can get a menage a trois going on. What am I all about? 
Is this my predestination by nature of my mother's womb? Her blood is in me. Is this what I must be? Many years later and looking back, the truth has set me free. Opening my mind, encouraging a lot of soul searching and promoting great trust in my mom. I have learned how to gracefully agree to disagree. My environment does not dictate me. Bye bye to Aunt Sally. Hello to what must be. Getting past the hurt, all of the judging and the shame. I found strength in a higher name. <laughs> the sins of my parents didn't set me. Remembering a time when gay meant happy. Thank you. That was wonderful right there, ladies and gentlemen. Give another round of applause.